So this is basically a deep dive into this product. We're only going to be talking about this one product uh, because it's really cool and probably my favorite switcher as far as the most simple switcher that doesn't need any fans. I love this. There's a lot to love about it, uh, mainly because it is so simple to use like that. And we're going to go through all the different things and I'll answer any questions you might have. And it is the definitely the easiest way to a live stream just like that uh, for two cameras, like a two camera thing, or whether it's one camera and a computer or one camera and um, your video game console, like for gaming. Uh, yeah, we'll look into that. It comes in this really cool. It's, I mean, it's not really cool. It just comes in this case. It comes with this case. So it's easy to transport it around and put all your cables in it. But look, that's how small it is. So you can see how small it's going to be. And one of the things I love about it is it's not going to take that long to talk about. It's not. That X2, that's a great right there. Look at that. That is a great angle. <laughs> it's so perfect. Um, all right, because this is all going, this is like I'm obviously connected to this right now to demonstrate. So hopefully I don't screw anything up by moving it too much. But I want to show you the ports here. Simple. Okay. You have... <laughs> camera one, like HDMI one, HDMI two, which is one and two. And then you have an output, like a video output. So if you want to go to like a TV, let's say you are streaming with your, um, your game console and you want to have that go out of that to the TV, you can do that. Um, you can have it go to just a simple monitor so you can monitor what you're doing. And then you have the USB-C that goes to your computer and that's also going to power this. So as soon as you plug this into your computer, it lights up and it's going. Now, a lot of other stream, uh, HDMI stream switchers have fans, they're loud. This is nothing, it's quiet, it's great. It would be great for mobile streaming. Ken says in the chat, what's up, Ken? Um, it looks like it would be not be super, yeah, it's, it, exactly, it's not complicated. There's been very complicated ones we've looked at and done deep dives on this. This is not one of them. You have a microphone input and a line input and then headphone out. So what that is gonna be good for is you could plug in like your wireless mics, um, wireless go or the DJI mics with a receiver. You could just plug in that receiver to that microphone input or, um, or the line. And uh, yeah, then you have two microphones going into there. There is no volume control on that, but you can obviously control on the receiver that you have so you can add it and then you can use the headphone jack to monitor it. We're gonna go into uh, the buttons here. Like <laughs> this could be this could be the fastest deep dive ever because this is it. So we will start with down here at the bottom. You have camera one, hello, and then camera two, and they, they're fast. They're fast. And then you have the switcheroo button. Now, obviously one or two, but you can just switch it back with that. I call it the switcheroo button. Uh, I don't know if there's proper name for it, but that, like, how switcheroo is that? It's the, it's the most switcheroo thing I've ever seen. Here's where you get to your multiple screens. This is, again, this is going to be so fast because it's so simple. And this is also probably one of the most fun things. When I got it out to start playing with it, I was like, what, what, what? Okay. So going to the top here, you have your split screen. So that's me down here. Hello. Now, the cool thing is, there's two things, two extra things you can do with this. You can do the switcheroo. So if I wanted to be on top, that's it. The switcheroo button, so fast. Other thing, other streams, uh, switchers, you have to set that up like beforehand. It goes both ways, as Ken would say. Um, but there's also more. These are expanders here. So we can shrink this down. And now you get like the two cameras on top of each other, just like that. Uh, so the full view, or go back to that one. Can, I can't repeat some of the stuff you say, otherwise this stream stops. <laughs> I, I feel like they're, they're, they're very, um, uh, they, like they're, they monitor this very closely. <laughs> All right. So the other one here is the side by side one, which is a great one. That's, I mean, if you had two camera shoot with two people here, there's your interview right there. It's so easy. And then also we can shrink that down. Honestly, it's really cool. Yeah. It, this is Hands down, if you're doing two cameras, 
this is it. This is the one you want. This actually, both buttons work. It's just kind of, it's like up, down. Like I can do that with both. And they make a difference next time. Okay, so now we are going to go a little bit further in. Uh, these are your picture in pictures. So I love that you have each side right there. Just so if I'm going to be up there, and check this out. Maybe that's not the right size for me. I want to be like <laughs> so small that I'm <laughs> you can't you can barely see me. Or maybe I want to be a lot bigger. It does that. Um, and then I can go to this side over here. Do the same thing. Like that's that's actually a really good spot right there. But what's cool is if I go back to the other one, it keep it keeps it the same. What, 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 hold on. Yeah, it keeps it the same. So let's go all the way big here. So I'll go to this one. Keeps it where I left off. And that one's big again. And then you can go down. No, I want to be down here. Or maybe like you know that certain times you want it to be on certain spots and you want it to like, it's nice to not have to resize it again. And then I also like that, you know, to remove that, obviously I, I can just press whatever camera I want to just focus on, right? So if I was in picture in picture mode like that, and I just want to go without picture in picture and just zoom in, I just press that. The other thing is with these picture in pictures, yeah, that's down there. What it, like a lot of those other switchers will not do is let you just swap. You'll switch a roo, right? So you see this guy down here. Sometimes I just, you know, I want to, I want you to see more of that, but also I'm going to stay in the frame and just press the button and it just switches like that. Or if I was, you know, over there. And that is, uh, like that, when I did that at first, it was like, that is what I've been waiting for. Something like that for a long time. Something that simple so that when I'm doing these Amazon streams uh, or any other ones, just to be able to switch between that overhead camera that's up there yoink, or this one right there. And uh, I will say that's virtually it, but I also, you know, I want to plug in the microphone and see what that's going to sound like. I have not done that yet. All right. So this is the audio from it right here. So you can hear how it, it's a little bit... Uh, can you hear this exactly? Or do you hear that like, um, and the reason why is because you have the HDMI source coming in from the camera, which also has a microphone on it. So technically I could just plug in, you can hear the small echo. So watch, if I unplug this, you won't be able, you'll, you'll still be able to hear me. Really quiet, really quiet, one sec. That should be a little bit better because now it's plugged into the camera because of the HDMI coming into it. Um, it's a little bit laggy, like, microseconds enough for me to hear myself and have to like slow down and with when it's plugged into this microphone right here definitely don't have the lag uh, from an HDMI so if I turn down my microphone on the camera um, then on the onboard camera or if I just plugged in anything into it that would solve that problem do you think I should keep going with the ATM mini pro or simplify to stream with four cameras at a small music venue okay good question so you want four cameras still? Um, I, I'm not a fan of the ATM Mini. I, I used it for a bit because that was like my, kind of my first switcher. And it's got so many limitations to it. Like even just this one right here, as you can see, like if I wanted to do this and that and, and this, and like it's so much faster to do it here on this small little thing than even that ATM Mini Pro, right? In my opinion, like for me, two cameras, just overhead and this, or even if I had another person or a computer, um, yeah, th this goes to show you what you can quickly do and set up and then, yeah, do the switcheroo and um, switch it back to one camera, two cameras, side by side, side by side this way, switch it. I want that on that side. You can see I'm just hitting that button right there to switch it or make it bigger or smaller. I had to put all these... Uh, some different HDMI's so that you could see what it looks like here. Otherwise, I'd have it um, off to the side just right here. Also, again, I love that because it's quiet. There's no noise. Like, I'll, I'll take this microphone to it so you can see that there's, so you can hear, check one, check two, watch. No, I'm not muting anything. No noise. Um, other ones, ATM Mini, um, every stream switcher I've used has a fan. The Ulanzi one's good because at least the fan part of it can be away because it's detachable. 
And so, oh yeah, so having it off to the side is great. Uh, you know, if you're, so if you're controlling it over here, it's just the, the, it's so simple, the buttons to change it to and whatever, uh, that it doesn't take much. So thanks again. And you guys have a good evening or day or whatever, whatever time it is. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>